Okay, hello, how are you today? So, here I am, so we can start with a new topic, right? Today, we are going to work with a new verb, right? And it is the verb have got. Yes, have got. So, the verb have got, yes, we use the verb have got to talk about family, possessions, and part of the body, right? So, yes, parts of the body. So, for example, I can say about my family. Yes, for example, look at the picture. I can say, I have got two daughters. Yes, I have got two daughters. Yes, so. I can also use, <clears throat> this is for the family, I can use for possessions, I can say, I have got a blue marker, yes, or I have got a big house. Or, for example, to talk about parts of the body, I can say, I have got mm, short hair, yes, or I have got brown eyes right so have got is going to be used for i for you yes you yes for example you have got lessons on thursday yes you have got lessons on thursday Yes, I can also use have got about we, yes, we have got, yes, we have got, mm, we can say something that we have got, cell phones, for example, because I know that you have got a cell phone, I have got a cell phone, we have got a cell phone, right? Then, for they, yes, you also use have got. They have got, yes, when you refer to other people, right? For example, about they have got, we can use the Simpsons family, yes? Again, so we can say they, they, <clears throat> March and Homer have got three children. Yes, three children. Yes, but yes, wait, they have got three children. But when we use she. For example, she or he, yes, or you are talking about it, yes, a, an animal, a place, yes, an object, you don't use have got, you don't use have got, you have to use has got, yes. So, for example, if I speak about Lisa, I can say she or Lisa. I will put she. She has got one brother. One brother. Yes. She has got one brother. Yes. That brother is Bart. Yes. If we talk about Bart, we can say Bart has got two two sisters yes 
he or Bart, in this case, he has got two sisters. Yes, two sisters, right? If we talk about it, we can mention, for example, San Patricio, right? San Patricio del Tenial, and we can say San Patricio has got two secondary schools, right? So we can say it, yes, record, according to uh, talking about San Patricio, yes, San Patricio has got two secondary schools. Yes. So, the verb have got, yes, means, yes, to have got. Talking about family, yes, family, my family, yes. Talking about possessions, cell phone, a car, a bike, a computer, yes, a sofa in your house, yes. But remember this, I, you, we, and they have got, but she, he, it has got, yes? All these sentences are in positive, yes? In affirmative form. Now, what about the negative? Yes, como hacemos la negative? It's very easy, yes, we add, yes, we add, le agregamos, one word, not, yes. ¿Dónde va el not? Here, yes, in the middle, yes. So, for example, I can say, he hasn't or has not got a wife yes i can say for example she hasn't got grandchildren yes in my case remember i have got two daughters yes i haven't got a son, yes, un hijo, a son, I haven't got a son, I have got two daughters, right? So, I copy this, yes, and now I will click. So, for the negative, this is the positive, yes, for the negative form of the verb, we say, we use the not, yes, for example, I have not got a son. Yes? I have not got a son. I have got two daughters. But we can uh, put these two words together and we say haven't. Yes? I haven't got a son. The two are correct. But this is the short form, right? Now, for, for example, um, she or he, yes? For example, I can say, mm -hmm -hmm. she hasn't got brown hair, yes? She hasn't got brown hair, yes, it is blue. She has got blue hair, yes, she hasn't got brown hair, she hasn't got brown hair, yes. So, you can use hasn't or has not. Yes, it is the same. Yes, so having got is for I, you, we, and they. Yes, having got, lo vamos a usar para I, you, they, and we. Yes, and hasn't got, 
Yes. For she, he, it. Yes. She, he, and it. Yes. So this is the negative. Yes. This is how we form the negative sentence. Yes. So I can say, for example, she has got a son. Yes. She hasn't got a daughter. Yes. Or we can say, he has got two sisters. Yes. He hasn't got a brother. Yes. And so this is the negative. Ya vimos la positive, la affirmative sentence. Esta es la negative sentence. And the questions. Y cómo vamos las preguntas. The questions. So, the question. Yes. For the question, listen. I can say, for example. Jackie. Yes, I can say. Has she got grandchildren? Has she got grandchildren? Yes, she has. Yes, she has got three children, right? Three grandchildren. Yes, three. So, the question is, has she got grandchildren yes and the answer well in this case has she got grandchildren yes she has full stop yes yes comma she has full stop but if the answer is no, yes, you can say, no, she hasn't. For example, in this case, has she got grandchildren? No, she hasn't. Yes, the same happens with they, you, we and I. Not has, but have. Yes? For example, have. Have you got, have you got, yes? Have you got a brother? Yes? Have you got a brother? Yes, I have. Yes, in my case, in mi caso, I will say, voy a decir, yes, I have, porque sí tengo un brother, yes. So, yes, coma, I have, punto, yes. But, pero, si ustedes me preguntan, have you got a sister? Yes, have you got a sister? I say, no, I haven't. No, I haven't. Yes? So, this is the verb have got, right? So, the verb have got, we use the verb have got to talk about possessions, to talk about family, yes? And to talk about the body, yes? To talk about your hair, your eyes, you can talk about animals, and you can say a giraffe, for example, a giraffe has got long hair, yes? So, this is all for today. The verb have got is very easy. So, uh, the next topic that we will work with will be homework about um, the Simpsons family using the family members and the verb have got. Okay, see you, bye!